Hello, Rangers and Adventurers. We are out here today playing some Raven Quest during the stress test and trying to really learn what are these ascendable items, how do they work, what are they useful for, and how can I make money with them? So we're going to quickly break down that. Um, obviously, this is a stress test. A lot of this is going to change, um, you know, potentially in, in the next couple of weeks before launch. And even after launch, I'm sure they're going to be making some adept updates. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, obviously, it's just a, a quick tutorial on how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is be at level 15. Uh, before you're at level 15, you won't have the uh, withdrawable inventory unlocked. Uh, the other thing you need to have is something ascendable. And, and so real quick, we'll break down what is ascendable and what's non-ascendable. Non-ascendable is your typical game assets, you know, a sword, an item that's just uh, not really tradable on a real marketplace uh, ascendable is and so then you can actually transfer that ownership to another player or sell it to another player you can do a lot of different things with it so that is the difference between ascendable and non-ascendable um, and if you know if you don't know ascendable also means it's an nft that's how they're able to track the progress of where that asset is who owns it and there's a ledger that's verifying that those transactions are appropriate so it is using blockchain technology there. But let's go ahead and jump into how to withdraw. So you're going to click on this uh, withdrawable inventory. You'll see any lands you have. I actually just withdrew my land. I'll show you in the account in just a little bit. And then you'll see any Raven cards, MOAs, any of these other uh, assets that you may have that are tradable. And so you'll be able to go through here and be like, hey, I want to, you know, give a lot of these items to the guild. I'll go ahead and withdraw. And you can click. You can choose what, how many uh, of each card you want to send. And I'm just trying to, to withdraw all of them. So you can see... Uh, everything that we pull out. So I'm just going to do this. We do have 13 pages, so we'll speed through this section probably. Okay, and now we're going to go to our page. So then we go here to Raven Quest. And we're going to go to my NFTs. And then you'll be able to see there's my medium estate. It has been claimed. Now I can mint it to blockchain. So that's where I'm going to now move it from my account and actually mint it as an asset on the blockchain. So we're going to click mint on there, withdraw. Now, this is just a reminder, we are playing on testnet right now. So this is just a testnet item. And so we've pulled that out. We've already pulled one other asset, which is the Mind Slave Taskmaster. It's another Raven card. That was my first test, making sure that worked properly. And now we're going to go into Raven cards. Now you can see all of the Raven cards that we currently have. So we'll go ahead and start moving some of these along too. And so right now they only have a, a single one. So that's going to be a little bit, pro, pro, a little, it's going to take some time. I think definitely they should have a select function where we can select how many of these we want to mint or uh, select all or just, you know, somehow to batch these together to get them all up. Also, I think that they should also have a drop down menu here that says all of your different uh, NFTs so we can just quickly quickly see everything that we own. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and click confirm. So this is minting all of these on to the blockchain. There is a lot of uncertainty when you're first doing, you know, the, the first couple blockchain transactions. So I understand if you're being a little bit hesitant on, hey, how does it work? Am I, am I doing the right thing or am I sending my asset to the abyss? And so that's why having some thoughtful ideas around how to do things, a little bit of education can be key this was a mistake to pull all of my nfts out right now without a batch thing this is going to take me a minute to mint all of these to the blockchain then we're going to be transferring them all to my other wallet and then from that wallet we'll be able to deposit back into another account but this will take me some time we'll see what uh what it'll be like once we get done because then we'll be able to you know break down a lot of these into their essence and, and you know try to level up some of those maybe we'll be able to get a legendary uh card out here today maybe one of the first legendaries ever made that'd be so cool if we could actually make that today for the purposes of this video uh we'll, we'll just send it there obviously we sent i don't know 30 uh nfts or whatnot and uh i'm not gonna go through and, and send each individual of these one by one that's taking a lot of time but let's go ahead and move to the next step so the next one you're gonna go is to play.sandbox.immutable.com and then you're gonna go to your inventory you'll see all of the cards actually pushed up uh, 48 of them uh, and then you'll be able to see your land so you see both of those sitting here in your inventory now this is on your wallet in imx your and it's a mutable zkevm wallet 
So let's go ahead and move our land. Or actually, you never move the most important object first. So the asset first. Let's move some common uh, uh, card first. So we're going to go into transfer. This is where we're going to click. It's going to open up a new uh, page here. Make sure that you connect, reconnect. And then we're going to go Raven Quest land. We're going to select that medium estate. And then we're going to get that destination address. We're going to get that from one of our other our other account, the account we're trying to move into. So let's go ahead and pull that over here so we can see everything. Um, one second, one second. Let's just make sure that's it. Okay, so here we go, Um, We have the wallet address here. We're going to understand that we know that this is what we're trying to send it to. Copy that address. Make sure that you're copying the correct address. It's immutable ZKVM. You're good to go. Then we're going to go back to that other browser that has the correct one, Medium Estate. Going to copy and paste that in there. And once again, we weren't trying to do a land first. Let's do a Raven card first. And so let's grab one of these, post that, that address, and we're going to send it. And there's a batch transfer right there. Oh, I just saw a batch transfer. All right, that'll save us some time. But we're going to send that transfer. It's sending. I already sent one asset over just to do a test before this, but uh, just to show you the, the proper way to do it. So then that is now successfully sent over. Let's go here. Let's click on our inventory. And we now have two Raven cards. That was a little wolf of the morning. Fox, nine tails. There we go. So now we have those two assets. Let's go ahead and send everything else over. So then we're going to select connection, Raven Quest land, medium estate. So next we're going to do a batch transfer. Let's see how this batch batch transfer works. Hey, we can select all. Oh, that is so much easier. Thank you, Immutable. Um, so that's all good there. Let's close. Destination address is the same. Send. And then this is what's so amazing about Immutable X. This is why I love Immutable ZKVM. It's completely free. There's no gas um, transaction, no gas fees for shipping these back and forth. And that, that makes it really, really a good experience for gamers who don't like those microtransactions all the time. They just ruin the mood. So there we go. We did that. Now let's give this a refresh. Do we have all of our assets in here? And boom, they're there almost instantly. you love to see it. I mean, there we go. There's our Raven Quest land. So everything is good here. So now let's go back into our Raven Quest account here. So this is the other Raven Quest account. I don't have anything currently. So you're going to click on Deposit assets right here and uh, right here and then it, you'll see all of these and then we just have to click deposit website and we're going to do a signature signing that we're giving authorization for the wallet to deposit into these accounts now i imagine potentially that uh raven quest has its own non-custodial wallet is that what how it works i don't know i'm going to be curious if i'm if i got that right um but we'll see how that kind of plays out so now if we go back into here there it is no, that's my large. Um, I guess we need to wait for a few seconds for it to populate. Let's see, NFT activities. No recent activities there. No recent activities there. We'll see if this land popped in properly. In the meantime, let's deposit some others. Let's see if that land is actually even... See, the land's not showing up, so it definitely went from one wallet to another. It may not just be showing up quite yet. So we're going to look for all of our higher tier cards because that's all we care about is moving those in so let's get these deposited into our wallet so now we've deposited all of those in i think we're good maybe we have one more signature here for the rares that's good so yeah once again yeah next five minutes it's probably been five minutes already let's see if our land is there and there it is our land is showing up now that is awesome so we're going to deposit that to our character so now that's in game we should be able to mess with that let's go ahead and check our raven cards we probably have to do the same deposit to character deposit to character deposit to character so it doesn't take that long maybe like 30 seconds to a minute for these to deposit um doesn't take that long so there's all that let's go ahead and uh, go to raven cards let's see if we got any grants that we want to start moving through deposit grants search all right so as we finish depositing all of our nfts into our character we're now good to go one thing i do want to just quickly note is if you uh if this is after launch uh you just delete the uh dot sandbox and then you go to play immutable.com for your actual inventory but i think we're good to go there let's hop in to game 
All right, so now we're in game. Uh, we can quickly determine if our stuff came in uh, by checking your withdrawable inventory. It should show up here and you'll be able to see your two plots of land and then you'll be able to see all of your Raven cards. Um, one thing that I do want to note that I didn't uh, mention uh, or I missed the recording of is that when you do arrive, uh, you're going to get a uh, scroll, just like uh, if you ever have a land, um, you'll be able to get a deed to that land. Um, and so that'll show up in your inventory. You go to quest and you'll see that scroll. You can then uh, click on it and you'll teleport to uh, your land, place your house, and then you'll be able to, to mess around with it. And as you can see, I have both of my plots now on one uh, account. So that's pretty cool. So I'll be able to, to mess around with both of those. Uh, all my Raven cards are in here. So we have all of those uh, good to go as well. But uh, that's all I've got for this quick tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that are probably going to change as they get closer, especially hopefully that batch system to, to deposit all of your assets and, and a couple other features. So expect some changes and uh, there'll also be the marketplace, which will be happening soon. And I will have a tutorial on that as well. So that you'll be able to quickly transfer your friends to your guild or sell it on the marketplace for real currency. Um, but that's all I've got today. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe for more. In other words, I'll see you next time. Caveman logging up.